Hi guys, in one of my post bag episodes you may have seen that I bought some of these submersible pumps. I think they're 3 volt power, I can't remember. But I was thinking of some idea where I could use them to power a boat. I actually bought two of them. There's another one there which I'll show you in a minute. And I was thinking of grand ideas of having a pipe sticking out the back here, coming over the top of a boat and directing it to push the boat forwards. And I've been sitting here looking at it thinking, if I just attach it at the back of the boat and move it like an outboard motor, that should work. So I've got some galvanised wire here. I normally use bent paper clips but I bought this the other day. It gives me 20 metres of it so that's a bit more than I get from a paper clip. And I've bent it around the back of the pump because there's this flat edge on it which is supposed to sit on the floor or the bottom of the tank or whatever. So I've bent the wire around that wrapped it round itself, got one piece going straight down, the other piece coming up and bent around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is put a tube on it like that to hold it on the back of the boat and then that little arm will be attached to a servo to direct it. I just try and hold that there somewhere to give you some idea. Haven't quite got enough hands to do this. But that's the general idea that we'll just attach it to the back of the boat and turn the whole thing. And it should work. The water is sucked into the hole at the bottom there and shoots out of the nozzle there. So I'll just attach it like that like an outboard motor. I'll do a very temporary job so I'll sit the radio control gear in the back there somewhere probably in one of my plastic boxes just to keep it dry and probably hot glue a servo in the back here somewhere somewhere or other just so we can push the arm. I'm not gonna bother tucking all bits away I'll just show you exactly what I've done hot glued a servo straight into the back of the boat there bent paper clip onto the lever arm bit of plastic tubing just there just hot glued to the back of the boat so that's what this is going to pivot on it's a bit loose but I think we'll get enough to steer the boat and then we got the receiver which obviously is wired into the servo and then the other wire coming from the receiver is going to the ESC that one actually gives us forwards and backwards which is a bit of a waste of time because we can't suck the water we can only blow it and then the other end of that goes down to one of my little LiPo batteries so I'm just going to sit all that straight in there and hope that the boat doesn't tip over and get it all wet. So I'll put the camera on the tripod and see if it works. We're taking a bit of a risk because I don't want it to tip over and get it all wet. Let's see whether we've got forwards the right way. That doesn't appear to be doing much. Let's try... Yeah, I've got my motor reversed. Switch that over. So that's going forwards. It's not the fastest boat I've made. It's certainly steering it. I 
don't think this will do very well out on the pond, it will get blown away. It's very manoeuvrable. And it's quiet. So there we go, a radio controlled water jet driven boat. That was incredibly simple to make. So I say not terribly fast. Not bad. And that little pump is a water pump designed for aquariums and that sort of thing. That is so quiet. And so manoeuvrable. Normally I'm bouncing off the sides when I'm testing boats in the bath. See if I can lift it up a bit. I can't lift it out of the water because as soon as I lift it out, then the air gets into the pump. You can probably hear the motor running now. off. Job done. Let's see if we can remember to take a picture of it this time.